Welcome guys, episode 5 of the Gem Editor tutorial series um, in Gates of Hell. This episode we're going to be looking at Nick Command. Um, let's get to it, eh? So first off you're going to want uh, a vehicle and some units. So uh, let's start off with tags. Uh, so that will be separate tags again, so we'll give the uh, the truck one. And the infantry one. Uh, and we want to give uh, the truck a hidden tag. Because we're going to make the truck spawn on the edge of the map. And it's going to act like reinforcements entering the uh, the battle space. Uh, next is the waypoints tab. So you want to go add and whatever. Just call it... Um, Whatever you want. If I could spell that'd be great. Where's the way? Yeah. I'll have him emit the troops at waypoint six and then he'll continue. Last waypoint, right click, add, delete. And we're going to select all points again and change the radius to 50. That bit's done. Next is the trigger tab. So, min. Um, grips emit the troops so let's do a delay five seconds so it's not instantaneous and we want to put a um, actor for waypoint let's give that a go safe teleport and rotate Hit clone because we've got a hidden tag waypoint zero and the selector is the truck put in an actor state Put for the truck. Leave this as is and just put and go back to the waypoints tab. Go to waypoint six. And then what you want is right click in the commands and uh, select the waypoint. Where it says action here, I'm going to click uh, suspend. Uh, then have a delay of a uh, one second should be fine. Then add again, actor emit. So the selector, uh, when it says W like that, the waypoint, it'll be um, the the unit that is on the waypoint. For instance, the vehicle. Um, we can leave that. Before we continue, let's add some waypoints. We click add and let's just go waypoint twelve. Have the units go there. So these two waypoints are for the infantry. So if we go back to waypoint six and click on the emit tag in the waypoint section here, we'll put waypoint twelve. So basically when the units emit from the vehicle. The infantry will go to waypoint 12 and then they'll follow it to waypoint 13. The crew is, uh, you're going to give it a tag, obviously the infantry. Um, and I just realized, we haven't put, okay, we haven't put it there. I'm going to copy and paste one of these guys and put him inside the truck. He's the driver, so he's not getting out of the vehicle. If um if I put all these guys in there, as one of the drivers, we'll get out of the vehicle and then uh the vehicle will just stay there. But, and while we're here actually we'll um put these in the vehicle as well. Alright, back to what we're doing. So waypoint six, the emit 
uh, we want to copy the delay, so Alt C, and probably, I don't know, let's just do how long it will take for them to all get out of the vehicle. I don't know. Let's just do uh, for a wild guess, just six seconds. After six seconds, we want the vehicle to continue, so we'll copy and paste the waypoint, and then we'll click on action again and go resume. Direction forward. And that's it. Make sure everyone, everyone got the truck. All right, let's uh, go to try and see how it goes. Five seconds. Now we didn't give the infantry an active state, so they're going to pop out of the vehicle and just walk. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. They're not in a rush. Um, but we'll, when we go back in, we can change that. I'll show you where to put the command. To stop. So one second is probably too much. Probably, uh, sorry, too quick. Probably two seconds. Make command. Okay. He'll um, drive off and get deleted. In the infantry. Go to waypoint 13. Six seconds was probably a bit too quick, in my opinion. Uh, I'd probably three eight seconds is probably a nice spot to be. Let it go. So delay here. Let's give it two seconds. I think that'd be good. Eight seconds, and then uh, right click, add active state. Now we want to change it from waypoint to standard. And then give it a tag uh, for the infantry. And just have them assault. Or just, that's just running. And if you go alt, up arrow. Put it there. You're sweet. Try one more time. Final, uh, final demo. And then be it. It up a bit. Eight seconds is perfect, and the two seconds is 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 perfect as well. Gives the truck enough time to properly stop and then get out. Here you go. Pretty simple stuff. Um, that is the emit command in a nutshell. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it taught you something. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, you can use this for vehicles, uh, static weapons, um, tanks, pretty much everything. Airborne troops, um, there's a little bit more to that, but the process is very similar. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next episode, um, we're going to be doing the wild, wild, wild command. Um, struggle to say that. Wild command. Um, to create like an ambiance uh, effect. So like a, like uh, any aircraft gun shooting or an artillery gun shooting. I feel like more or less for an ambience sort of thing.
time. In the next episode. That's what we'll be doing. Um. Yeah. In saying that, comes to mind, I probably do the actor waypoint. Actor to wave. Uh, sorry, not actor waypoint. Actor to cover. I'll probably do that. It'll be either the ambience video or that video after this one. Uh, it'll be one of the two. So, I'll decide. <laughs> uh, but apart from that, guys, um, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.